The Omicron variant is causing yet another widely popular event to be postponed. This time it's the 146th Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. The club's board of governors has postponed the 2022 Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show in New York. It's the nation's second oldest continuously running sporting event. Didn't know that one. The board is citing the need to protect, quote, the health and safety of all participants. And, quote, organizers have not yet announced any new dates. And it took 10 years, but the marriage between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver is now officially over. The former California governor and Shriver were married for 25 years before Shriver filed papers in 2011. She did so after Schwarzenegger admitted to fathering a son with the family's housekeeper. They now have four kids together. And the poet who rose to stardom at President Joe Biden's inauguration last year, releasing a new poem on Instagram, Amanda Gorman's new poem, New Day's Lyric, celebrates 2022 and remembers the hurt of 2021. The 23-year-old says it was inspired by stories of grief and perseverance she witnessed on social media. And it's the last day of 2021, and we're looking ahead to 2022. Oh, yes, we are. But today, San Antonio Live is taking a look back at their favorite moments from this past year. Mike and Fiona, lots of food, lots of fun this past year. You know, every day is a favorite moment when I get to work with Fiona. Oh, my And I gosh. always try and, and, you know, best co-host ever. And I try to help her out as much as, as possible. Sometimes, you know, helping her carry stuff in from the, <laughs> the uh, parking lot. And how does she repay me? <laughs> With nothing but compliments. <laughs> and? And what? April Fools. I know. Okay, there might be some moments that we have a little fun picking on Mike, but it's all, it all comes from a place of love. And in uh, true tradition on SA Live, every April Fool's Day, we have played a prank on the air with Mike. Wonderful, wonderful Thursday. I think Fiona went inside to get a little bit of sunscreen for us because we're out here just basking in the sun. I just pretended to get a sudden phone call and he <laughs> graciously just let me step away immediately. <laughs> Did you get me again? Yes, Is that yes, it? Yes. <laughs> the other cool thing that we always have here is celebrities. We do a lot of uh, interviews, satellite Zoom interviews, but sometimes they, they come on set and everybody is so gracious and so professional. Paul Rodriguez is one of those guys. He, he ran here at the very last minute. We interviewed him right to the end of the show and he stuck around for what, half hour, 45 minutes? Yeah. Just shoot the breeze. That's what makes this show so incredible to be a part of is all those moments. And that's mm -hmm. just a small sampling. All that and more on the next SA Live. Now, usually a fireworks show celebrating the new year is awesome, but some pets can get pretty freaked out with those fireworks. In fact, vets say the constant explosions of firecrackers and loud screams could cause some animals to become panicked and even worse, they could injure themselves. If your pet has a fear of loud noises, there are some suggestions from experts on how you can help them out. Just head over to kset.com and click on the features tab on how you can take care of your pets during the big fireworks show. Speaking of pets, don't forget pets, plants, mm -hmm. and all that, especially uh, tomorrow night and then Monday, or excuse me, Sunday night, because we got that big front moving on through here. It's going to be very humid tonight, warm and humid. Be careful if you're out there. Watch it if you're after midnight, if there's a little bit of fog that tries to uh, form up around here. And then much, much, much colder Sunday, Monday, and staying kind of chilly to start off next week. Thanks for being with us this evening, this afternoon. We hope this evening is very safe and very enjoyable for you. Stay face, stay, stay safe, that too. and enjoy SA Live. Happy right. New Year. SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Well, happy last Friday of 2021. We made it. I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And I'm Mike Osterhage. And, uh, well, once again, it was kind of a tough year. Things were trying to get, you know, back to normal and everything. But, you know, we tried to have as much fun as possible. And, and of course, there were many, many really memorable moments. And, and we want to know, what were some of your memorable moments from our show on, and let us know on Facebook and Twitter. So. Yes. Okay. So, do you have any favorite moments from this year? Let's see. Hold on. Let's think. Hmm. Well, okay. you know, oh, what I was what? trying to do, we, you know, we always try and I, I try and help out my coworkers as much as possible. You know, I do this and, and make life as easy as Aww, possible for so her. Sweet. I'll help her from her the parking lot or something like that. And so sweet. and she will pay me back sometimes. <clears throat> so sometimes with with pranks, 
yeah. which are not just my idea for the record. People behind the scenes who won't remain unnamed like Ted also comes up with these pranks to pull on you. And we've kind of made it a tradition to do an April Fool's Day prank on Mike. And I he's always been now. such an amazing sport. So this past April, we decided, let's see if we can suddenly leave Mike without a co-host on the air at the top of the show. She set it up perfectly by using her child as bait, oh, it was so, basically. Oh, I can't believe so, I did that. Yeah, I'm yeah a, a <laughs> fake phone call, oh, something's wrong, you know, oh, all this, and I, I was just, yeah. You know, it's only hey Mike. one o'clock. Hey, Mike, yes. happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> was that what this is about? Come on over. <laughs> Did you get me again? Yes, Is that yes, it? Yes, you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you though. <laughs> so, so you were messing with me the whole time again. <laughs> I was over with our first guest watching you and of course such a professional <laughs> and uh, he laughed greatly when he found out that it was all in good fun for <laughs> April Fool's. So I know he's going to get back at me some point and it no. won't be on April Fool's Day, it'll be when I least expect no. it. No. <laughs> one thing I wouldn't want to do is get near her when she's driving. Oh you guys, this is seriously one of my favorite moments is when I went to go learn how to drift with the Texas Drift Academy. You can too, this is incredible. You can find them online. And I got to practice over and over and you kind of just feel like you're in a Fast and Furious movie, right? And my husband was incredibly jealous. So very cool, they have a bunch of different packages. You should definitely check them out. We get very fortunate around here with celebrities and whenever they've, you know, we do a lot of Zoom interviews, but whenever they've come on the set, they are so gracious and just uh, ordinary everyday people and they kind of, like Paul Rodriguez, he came straight from the airport, right. rushed here right. to be on our show, literally just came in from the airport. My kind of town, <laughs> yeah. San Antonio is. Ah, yeah. speak, speaking of your kind of town, I mean, you have ties here, right? Yeah, I, I came here as a young man uh, in the Air Force. I was at Lackland Air Force Base. Uh, last week I went to visit my old uh, apartment, the Oakwood Apartments, number 18. Oh. <laughs> I still owe the money. And what a great guy. Yes, and you know, sometimes when they arrive, they're always kind of arriving from somewhere. So sometimes we don't really get a chance to chat with them before we go on, or we don't get to chat with them long. And what was so great about him is he stayed afterwards and spent the time just talking mm. with each one of us, getting to know us, and we really got to know him. And I loved how proud he was of his son, or proud he is of his son. You know, he, oh, it just warmed my heart. Yeah, you know, they're just average, everyday people like everybody else. I remember uh, uh, first uh, working here at the Majestic, uh, I didn't really have an act, I still don't, but I, I just <laughs> finished doing that Norman Lear series. and. And I remember uh, landing here and they had a mariachi band and I, was, I said, who's that for? And it was for me and uh, nobody's ever had a mariachi band for me before. So, uh, so I, I kind of just got hooked on this town. You know, I mean, I, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like R. Kelly at a Chuck E. Cheese every time I come here, you know, just uh, happy to be here. Somebody will get these jokes on the way home. <laughs> Okay, speaking of food, very quickly, our question we ask everybody, uh, corn or flour tortillas? I've always been a corn man myself, you know, I, I, I just, I like, the best applause I've ever got in my life was uh, that tortilla plus my mom used to give me. <laughs> <laughs> Another one that was so impressive, Rob Schneider, who is hilarious, and we had uh, scheduled a Zoom interview with him because he was coming to town, and it was the day when uh, comedian Norm MacDonald passed away, and Rob did not find out about this until just a few minutes before our scheduled interview. Well, you know, everybody was talking and calling back and forth and said, can you just hang on, can you just hang on? And God bless him, he was a professional. He did the Zoom interview. I mean, I'm, I kind of got chills thinking about it right now. He had been, you know, just bawling, obviously, because they were such good friends, but, yeah. and just let him talk, and he was talking about Norm MacDonald, and then he ended up coming here to, uh, to town to do yeah. his show. As a comedian, then, do you learn from each other as far as that goes? Do you kind of like, okay, he told this joke this way, and do, and do you kind of like that that friendly competition and, you know, who can oh, tell course. the joke better? No, it's like tennis. It's definitely like tennis. I mean, you, you want to play with somebody better than you. And Norm was the funniest guy in the room. Norm would, um, 
wasn't necessarily the one who got always the biggest laughs from the audience, but from the comedians, we knew he was a particular genius. You know, he would he, he, there. A lot of times, the comedians, you you could see the derivation of it. You know, the where 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 something started. You know, the um, and um, you, you know where uh, was something similar to it, where you can know where it's going. Norman have this intel incredible ability to tell a joke and you have no idea where it's going and then you get lost and you think oh man i know where this is going <laughs> but then you the next thing you know you forget he just he was a master of turns and slight and like you know I, we, I, last time i performed with him in, in 2016 i didn't know it was gonna be the last time i performed with him i just found that out in my old pictures and um he was like about ready to light a cigarette and then he would tell a joke and then <laughs> He but and then you know he'd be he take and he'd be and then it was just anything could be funny you know and like he he did this thing about like um, this joke which I, I just thought it's just it's just genius he said you ever uh, find yourself in the, in the middle of a lie and you you realize wait a minute there's no possible way that I could benefit from this lie why am I lying go online and watch Norm Macdonald do the moth joke. Okay. It's unbelievable. It's a per perfect joke. And the delivery is, uh, imagine anybody else trying to tell that joke, but Norm's the one who does it, <laughs> and it's perfection. Norm's, you just, just just do yourself a favor. Go on YouTube. It's YouTube. It's Norm MacDonald on Conan Moth Joke. It's the most perfect joke you'll ever hear. But it was so great to, to talk with him and, and thank, I mean, to and be able to do that. Dude, to be able years. to do that, you know, yeah. and to just like the show must go on. I mean, mm -hmm. just the consummate professional. It was great. It was, it was so wonderful. So. And it's, of course, moments like that that we absolutely love. That's what makes this show such an incredible joy to do. So we thank you for watching. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and yes, we do sometimes get a little bit starstruck. And so we're going to look back at uh, some more of the celebrity chats and some games. That's coming up still ahead. And some of our favorite guests of 2021. Well, they aren't even human. The cute and cuddly animals we've had on the show. That's next on SA Live. Keep it here. My littlest boys and their friends, 90 minutes Friday night doing this. So right. start with your Hot Wheel. Uh, You're okay. going to dip it into your sudsy water and give it a little toothbrush scrub. Oh my goodness, okay. All of these things have been purchased at the dollar store, so it's super affordable. Then you're gonna dip it into your cleaning agent and then into the powdered soap, we'll call it, which is actually just baking soda. Um, so you've now, <laughs> now you're gonna spray it with the washers, which is just vinegar with the blue food coloring inside. And watch it erupt and suds up to give it a nice good clean. Or you can take a ketchup squeeze bottle and dump it on there and just go. <laughs> get a <laughs> nice big explosion. Of, wow. You really got sudsy. Yes. Okay. Then you're just going to dip it into your sudsy water again to give it a good rinse. And then if you come over to the other side, what we've done is just taken some old dish towels, cut them down into Hot Wheel or Matchbox size, give them oh, a little dry. Look at that. And you've got your personal little fan, you know, as the car drives out of the car wash and you go under the air. That's just to give him a nice good dry on his way out. So yeah. what do you think would be a good way of then saying, hey, kids, would you like to do a big car now? And right. You need to wash your car in detail. I know. That'd be fantastic. That I'm, be I'm getting there. I'm just afraid they might start the process with the windows <laughs> down. Next time you're on the show. <laughs> yeah. Food. And whoever gets to the yeah <laughs> it's not as easy oh, as you no. think <laughs> but how fun is this i just use curly ribbon you could use yarn <laughs> oh, oh, Yay. he gets the piece of the charcuterie oh good for you <laughs> and then the last game is the turkey toss and i just took a paper sack that you get in any grocery store shaped it like a turkey and then tossed the just wadded up paper oh that was close i almost knocked it over <laughs> oh god you can put weights in it if you're afraid. <laughs> but it's just oh, fun. Oh, and let the kids have fun. <laughs> hey, John. No. No. Oh, my God. No, no. What kind of sounds do they make? Do they make sounds? Like you heard kind of that deep breathing like and a, a little gurk, like a grunt grunting. Or, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. They also make like a high pitched squeak. You know, like the like the females, like when they run and, and are like playing. Uh-huh. 
keep away mm -hmm. <laughs> playing hard to get. from him, playing yeah. hard to get. Yeah. You know, they make like a like a high pitch, like a dog squeak toy. He's a dromedary camel. He's about nine years old now, about 1,200 pounds. And, Full uh, crown, right? He just loves people. And you bottle fed him from just a little guy, right? That's right. So we've had him for all nine years. Uh, he came as a little cat from another zoo. And uh, he's one of the crowd favorites for sure. And contrary to what folks may think, there's no water in stored inside the hut. That's right? right, yeah. Camels can travel long distances in the desert and stuff like that, go a long time without drinking. But it's not because their hump's a big canteen, like you know, mm -hmm. people assume. That's actually a big fat storage, and he'll break down that fat and uh, turn it into the nutrition and hydration that he needs. Lolita, I love her name. <laughs> <laughs> she is a Mexican red knee tarantula. She's four years old. Uh, you can tell by the red knees. That's how they get the name there. She is one of. Uh, she is a medium-sized tarantula. Very docile species of tarantula. They can live about twenty to thirty years. Oh wow! Depending really? on yeah, depending on the is age this, and the is type this of. Is creeping you out? No, I don't see that. <laughs> okay. I don't that yeah, you can. We can kind there of transfer. Okay. So just a little gentle nudge, and there I'll she let goes. You nudge. There you I'll go. Let you nudge. It's so funny when they walk because I mean the. It's kind of soft. Yes. And yeah, yeah exactly. and then they also have these tiny little hooks on their tips of their toes, which allow them to climb. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're feeling when they're actually hooking on to you a little okay. bit there. So and that's what you so feel. She's so light. Yeah. Light. You would yeah. never notice her crawling. Yes, crawl exactly. Like, like a lot of middle-aged <laughs> men, she's got a bald spot. And of course, she plays the part of Gingerella. <laughs> in the, of course. Yes. <laughs> in the Halloween parade. And she's got to do her pretty princess poses to be a oh. Gingerella. There we go. Now she's a capybara. She's the largest rodent species in the world. I was gonna yeah. ask. Okay. And they're found in Central and South America. Let's we'll see if she can give her little princess wave that she also does. And it comes with sound and props and oh. skits and there's interaction at the end of the program. So she's an axolotl, which is a Mexican species of underwater salamander. Wow. Oh. Aren't they weird? Oh. <laughs> no, it's crazy looking. So uh, this is the color that she is now in Correct. this environment, but it can change, right? Well, she wouldn't change color, but she's actually just an albino specimen. Okay. So okay. she's been bred especially for this coloration. She's okay. a golden albino. She has really pretty gold eyes. Um, but in the wild, they're very dark, almost okay. black, and they have spots like a little leopard, so they can blend in. And you said that this is a, it, it would be like a frog, but then it stopped growing, so it's still a, kind of a baby. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> we just saw that fact pop up on the screen. They uh -huh. can regenerate any part of their body? Yes, that's my favorite thing about axolotls specifically, is they can actually regenerate anything. Their limbs, their tail, their gills, which are those red things you see on the side of her face, and even internal organs like brain, heart, kidneys, anything. Okay. Sarge. Ooh. Here it is. Yes. You know, pause to look both ways before you cross that street. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Scoped it out first. Now, he is just very interesting looking. I love staring at him. Absolutely. Tell us about Sarge. Okay. So, Texas is full of incredible birds. This is one of the most beautiful birds found in our state. He's called a roseate spoonbill. And that's right. <laughs> Showing off. He's like, that's right. That's, yeah. that's the name. Don't wear it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, roseate refers to that beautiful pink coloration he has on his feathers. And then, spoonbill, I think. It speaks for itself. I mean, look at this bill. It is shaped exactly like a big wooden spoon. Oh my God. His husband, Mark, took this porcupine for a walk out there in Market Square unleashed like a dog. <laughs> It was the most, it was like just walking around, it's like sniffing around and eating so. So they can learn, I mean, you learn to kind of walk on that harness, right? Oh yeah, he yeah. thinks he's a dog. <laughs> 40 is the number all about camels. That's right? the magic number for camels. So they can live to be up to 40 years old. They can run 40 miles an hour and they can drink up to 40 gallons of water in one sitting. Next on the show are fun moments from the SA Live set and around San Antonio. Keep it here. Open your legs and put them. Oh, 
outside of the silk. Okay. And now you're hanging upside down. <laughs> okay. Nice, beautiful. Awkward angles. And I've we never been in the middle. leg over one silk. Oh, here we go. To make it a pretty shape. Today we're gonna teach scary. you something super easy. You ready? Yes. So let's turn do, do, do. <laughs> and down. I feel and that heat. swirl. Ooh. Mike, go ahead and open up your phone. I want you to open up Instagram on your phone. And, uh... Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and type in at Trig Watson into Instagram, and I think you'll be interested to see what you find. Is it the at sign? <laughs> <laughs> you might have to walk in through this. Perhaps, Fiona, you can help me. <laughs> there is I that, am. I want that, you to go. That that's, that's, oh, <laughs> no, here, two Gs, two oh, Gs. Two. I even spelled it out for you here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm my, sorry. It's, it's I'm my, not doing this on purpose. That's, that's a good hashtag. That's a good hashtag. Is that the? We'll that's explain the, that. We'll give you. Yeah, we'll give you the syntax later. <laughs> 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 Jonah's got out by a neck. Mike seems to be struggling. Mike seems to be close. Mike goes down. He tumbles. Jonah hits the round. Are you okay? What? Did you hurt? How's your rotator cuff? <laughs> That's fine, the rest of me. <laughs> it's wide, there you go, just like a frog. Now jump your legs back. Oh, oh, lost uh -oh, your ears. Lost uh -oh. your ears. Bring okay. your. No. There you're good, you guys keep going. Keep going. There you go. You yeah. can make a little bunny. There you go. <laughs> so, and this not only. <laughs> You your know, ears. when the instructors your all camera ears. laughs at you, your, your spouse, oh my gosh, you know you're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> Today, we are chatting with Bob Saget. Hello. Hello. Are you kidding? I'm at the LOL Comedy Club. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. But I just play somebody that's so officious and different than Danny. Although Danny was officious. Look it up. Google officious and tell me. I don't know. And my job is to entertain people, and I love it. Straight out and up. Okay. There you go. Oh. And that's a hip hop. Let's give a little spin. Show it. Look at you. Um. What happened to you? What happened to you? Are you using a new face cream? No, it's the same aloe that I've always used. What happened to your hands? Oh, God, I need a manicure. Bye. Up next, the stars descend on Market Square. We're looking back at all the famous faces who stopped by. Keep it here on SA Live. How you doing, Jen? Hey, thanks for having me. Uh, I like the introduction. <laughs> yes, I am from Texas. Born in Uvalde. Here, my kind of town. <laughs> yes. San Antonio is. <laughs> Your dogs haven't said a word. Yeah, he's back. You see, you see him? Oh my God! Tell I didn't me. realize that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm so, it's what kind so of dog is that? It's a lot, right? She is a very big fan, and she loved you and Mr. Selfridge. Oh my God! Doesn't I happen. always wondered who that person was that was watching. Second, second trip to San Antonio, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. First one, we don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love it, but I, I, I love this guy even more. I wanted him to interview me. <laughs> But I got the morning guy. I, I wanted the nighttime meteorologist to interview me. Yeah. Is this, this better? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite. Uh, uh, how are you? Cowboys fan. Right, I, and I'm not gratuitously saying that because we're going to San Antonio, but I am a diehard Cowboys fan. They're twice published, right? And a mom of two. Yeah, I actually have four books, but two were New York Times bestsellers. So you have have two kids you know, eight hours a day or however long, you know, kind of going to work every day. But is it a little bit different behind the scenes? Yes, 14 hours. <laughs> okay, 12 hours a day. Hours a day. Um, hey. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable how many people are touched by these things. Like we go, we film them and they continue airing year after year after year. The character of Winston Zedmore. I mean, that's it's classic. It, this, this is a, it's part of the lexicon. What's that feel like being a part of a movie like that? 
Yeah, it's great. You know, I've been uh, acting over 55 years, uh, theater, film, television, and I've done a lot of things. But uh, to have a film that people, um, you know, have embraced, become part of the culture. To be sharing her story for future generations, it was just full circle. So there's definitely a lot of connection, definitely a lot of emotions, excitement, getting to like have that connection with her music as opposed to just listening to it and singing it. And now I get to play and rock out and feel as if like she's my sister. It's like, what is going on? What is, what? What blessing did I, I stumble upon? Like that, that friendly competition and, you know, who can oh, tell the jokes better? Oh, it's like tennis. It's definitely like tennis. I mean, you, you want to play with somebody better than you. And Norm was the funniest guy in the room. Norm would, um, wasn't necessarily the one who got always the biggest laughs from the audience, but from the comedians, we knew. He was a particular genius. But no, I've never been there. Well, we hope you come visit soon. And- Is there an invite following? Oh, okay, good. Well, next thing I know, I'm in the car getting mic'd up, about to shoot my first scene where there's not a line written. And that's when I hear action. And I look up at Cynthia, the redheaded intellectual, who I'm going to pull up, try to pick up. And I, in my head, I say, and the fourth thing I'm about is picking up chicks. And I said, I got three out of four. Put it in drive. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to get the fourth. <laughs> that was it. So that was where that came from. It was three like affirmations of what my character had on the way to go get the fourth. First three words I ever said on film. Corn and flour tortillas. I've always been a corn man myself. You know, I, I, I just, I like, the best applause I've ever got in my life was uh, that tortilla applause my mom used to give me. <laughs> also, is there going to be another cliffhanger that we can anticipate in this season three? It's a big bomb uh, that gets dropped. And, well, there's a couple, actually. There's a couple cliffhangers. But I think that, you know, the, the main event is... Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I'm very excited to see what people say about it. My, my name was Suave, and I was in a rap group called H2O, and our uh, motto was flowing like water. <laughs> I, I need you to take a look at this clip and just give us some feedback okay. on mm-hmm. this particular okay, rap. Let me see. It's not polite. Farts. It's not polite. So okay, that's... after showing that, here, I'm, you can yeah. talk to him. I'm yeah. <laughs> And I couldn't finish this interview without letting my little wrestling fan ask a question. A game plan against Seamus. You know, he loves hitting people really hard, but I think I'm probably the best striker in the company right now. So my game plan is just to hit him more times than he hits me <laughs> as hard as I can until he stops wanting to fight me. Take a look. Take a look. They're giving us the finger. Oh. Right they're, they're doing that to us. Oh, that's enough. <laughs> You're doing the Italian slash Persian goodbye, the 20 minute goodbye. Just, <laughs> just say goodbye. Okay. You better go or else I'll send Daddy Trejo to your house. <laughs> hey, we can't forget about the food. It's time to eat for us. We celebrate San Antonio every single day with tasty treats and savory bites. Some of our favorites next on SA Live. Here's a surprise inside, folks. Oh, goodness gracious, that looks good. Can I help you? Scoop of ice cream? This is the real stuff. Yeah, if you can make any type of ice cream, what type of ice cream would you make? Uh, well, I mean, ice cream and cookies, you know, if you break them up in there, and cookies and cream are good, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a shopping in your store right here, <laughs> so there's dream and start if it's bad, it's not my fault, Mike, okay? You're the expert, what do you think? Tastes great, tastes, mm-hmm. tastes like cookies. A full menu of comfort food, but one of the more unique menu items, this right here, is crawfish tails battered in Captain Crunch. Yes, Captain Crunch, all right, here we go. Mm. Ooh, I taste it. Oh we make our marshmallows in-house. It's a it's a fun process. We make different flavors. Uh, the flavors you saw is holiday spice and our strawberry. Today we take you to the West Side, a coffee shop that's father son owned, and the combination has customers coming back day after day. By the way, they're home to the original barbacoa grilled cheese 
and horchata latte. Spud Ranch is known for, of course, our baked potatoes. Our most uh, popular item here at the ranch is uh, would probably in the baked potato category would probably be our, our hot wing spud, uh, of course our brisket spud, and uh, a chicken fried steak spud. The heart shaped pizzas came along because uh, actually a friend of ours, a friend of mine, gave me the idea to use it, and we did it, and I didn't expect what happened. It became our busiest day of the year, and it's been our busiest day of the year ever since. And then that's gonna be one of the best uh, seven tacos that we have right now. So the and egg is basically like the mattress that you lay all the yum yum the, on, yes. right? <laughs> and it's gonna be the wow. one that David Sears was just so jealous about when I had it right up there in the camera. <laughs> what is this and what is what are we making? That what is a chocolate silk mousse pie, and I put a little bit of fresh fruit and toasted coconut in it to kind of mix it up a little bit. So of course, our six members of the right. SA Life team baked a homemade pie of their choice last night, all different flavors, okay? So Monique is going to be trying them to see who's the pie champ, all right? Who is going to be our SA Live pie baking champion? I'm going to choose the chest pie. The, the chest <laughs> pie, Mike! Did you, have, did you butter her up on the commercial break? Were you? We've got one of these great sandwiches here, and this is oh, what we decided this. to put together. Look at that. That is just a it little bit of right than, there. Then the, the meat with the beer and the nice combination. Uh, we're going to start off with our Thai sweet chili sauce here. We're going to add a little bit of cheese sauce. Chicken right here. I'm just staring at this right now. But I'm going back to you, and I'm going to take a bite. Oh, so my I can't God. Talk. I, I, yeah, I really do love the concha bouquet that you have over there, too. Right. And Ron Holland from Cakes Couture is here to show us how to make the one, the oh, look at how beautiful that is, the king cake. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? Well, We're all giddy. It. It's going to be really good. <laughs> I'm sugar sugar. I don't know what's going to happen with the rest of the show. This is something beautiful and delicious. We are going to tell you how you can win that cake coming up. It's a custom cake. Oh. First of all, that thing is yeah. just amazing looking. <laughs> Thank you. How long did that take you to make? Um, start to finish, right around eight hours, I think. This is a Rice Krispie treat right here that is covered in... in lemon. It's a chocolate, uh, lemon chocolate, white chocolate. Okay. But it's a little secret. It's a browned butter with sea salt. Rice Krispie treat. Ooh. Okay. Take that bite because I know you've been waiting. You've been, he's been waiting. He's been waiting for that. Okay, so I know we got to get into the, the mood here, but we have some mangonadas, so, right? We're going to be making mangonadas, but not just any mangonadas. We're going to be making ice ice baby mangonadas. Here we are in the creepy kitchen in our haunted mansion. I am your invisible host. And I'm the ghost. So today we're going to be making delicious gravy spring cocktail and of course we're going to be doing the eyeballs as well. So for the blood and guts. Ooh, here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> what is spat popping for those who don't know? So spat popping is basically a way of cooking poultry where you're going to take the backbone out, flip it over, break the breastbone, and it's going to lie flat. These strawberries look amazing. Oh, yeah. What do y'all have? Oh, we do. Strawberries. Strawberries. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Brady Bunch style, right? Mm. Uh-huh. Um, mm. Okay. I remember mm -hmm. Excuse me. Good stuff. Oh, that's so good. All Ciao, right. Felicia, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, it's David Elder, and right now for KSAT Deals, we have some hot dogs that you're going to love to try. Check these out right here. These are Booze Dogs Blue Tick Bourbon Bratwurst and Hot Dogs. They're using high quality pork shoulder plus high quality spices inside of them. Right now, we're going to be smoking them, grilling them, and boiling them, and showing you guys how you can make these at home. All right, we're going to cut these bad boys open. The coolest thing about these is that they're actually marinated in real bourbon. These are the smoked sausages. These are like a traditional hot dog style. Let's throw them on the grill. Oh yeah. We have some on the smoker, and look at these guys. They're already rocking and rolling. Look at the color that comes out of there. Now these are right next to the fire, probably about 300 degrees, about 325. I've left them on there for about 10, 12 minutes. The outside looks really nice. I'm gonna pull these off. These look ready to rock and roll, and then I'm gonna throw the other ones into our boiling beer, water, and oil mixture. A bold beer goes a long way with different flavors, and right now I'm gonna be throwing these hot dogs and some of the smoked sausage inside. This is water, beer, and oil all mixed together. It's just a little bit of oil on top. I put some seasoning in as well. I use a little bit of garlic powder, and then it's an equal ratio to water and beer. And what this will do is kind of push all that inside of it so they're gonna be super plump and juicy. 
pull them right off, because these are ready to go. Well, I got some Belial rolls, and check these out. I just put butter on top, threw them in for just a couple minutes. I'm gonna split the tops of them and make some really nice hot dog buns. So these have been boiling for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out, and just to finish them off, throw them right onto the grill real quick. So these are the boiled dogs. Put these in the back of the board and we get the other ones right off the grill. All of the dogs are ready to go. We have the booze dogs, blue tick bourbon, two different ways. We have the hot dogs and then the smoked sausage. I'm gonna put one of these smoked sausages on the inside. Then I'm gonna add some sauerkraut right on top. None of these hot dogs have synthetic flavoring. They're slow smoked with natural hickory chips. Plus, when you get them in an order, it's four pounds, 26 servings of bourbon infused brats and hot dogs and they actually, they arrive frozen. So that way you can warm them up, keep them in the freezer, they last for a long time. These hot dogs are safe for friends of all ages, so if you have some people coming over for dinner, this would be a really good item to make. And 3% of the profits made off all the hot dogs are donated to the Best Friends Animal Society. The retail price for four pounds, $69, but right here, right now, KSAT deals, you can get it 10% off, $62.99. You can get four pounds of this. They come frozen, you hold them in the freezer, you can pull them out whenever you want to, whenever you're having a party. Plus, you can get this deal and so many other deals right now, ksatdeals.com. Live, it's a whole new year. More food, more fun, more SA Live. Our first show of 2022. Gotta get used to saying that. Monday at 1 p.m. on Case at 12. Well, it has been another fantastic year. We have to thank you all for tuning in and being part of our uh, SA Live family. Yes, and have a wonderful and safe new year. Happy New Year, everybody. ¿Cómo están mis amigos? Le voy a cantar una canción.